Hi, I'm Dory, and today I am continuing the ACEO April Challenge. <laughs> uh, this means that I'm creating a brand new artist trading card, or uh, they're also called ACEOs. I'm creating a new one every single day for the month of April. This is a challenge that was created by my friend Claire. I'll leave a link to her channel down below so you can take a look at what she's doing with this challenge this month. And uh, hey, if you wanna participate, it's not too late. You can start at any point. And all you have to do is uh, start creating tiny little artworks. Uh, in ACAO is the size of a baseball card. You just have to create a little artwork and post a picture of it online with the hashtag ACEO April and boom! you are automatically uh, participating in the challenge. It's just, just that easy. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm really trying to create something different every single day, really challenge myself to kind of do new things, try things that I've been wanting to do, have been, or have been a little bit intimidated by, or things that I am not necessarily good at, or have never tried before, you know, do some challenges on a very small scale, that kind of thing and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> uh, this is uh, very, very similar to the squirrel drawing that I did a little while ago. Uh, basically, I just kind of wanted to work with a very limited color palette. Uh, my squirrel drawing I did, I worked with only browns. And one of the things that I have more than anything else uh, in my marker collection, I have more gray than anything else. I have warm grays and cool grays and blue grays and green grays and brown grays and all kinds of grays that you can, you know, what, what on earth? So I thought let's try to do a picture with all grays. So naturally I thought of drawing an elephant. <laughs> I do have one green that I do use. You'll see me using that right now in the grass. And then I go in with the gray and I mute it way, way, way down. I just wanted to have something to differentiate the, the elephant from the ground to, to, to make him have a little bit of weight, if that makes sense. Um, but that is the only color I use in here other than a gray or a variant thereof. <laughs> But yeah, this is a very, very limited color palette that I'm using, and I, I really like the way this one turns out as well. Elephants are, they're, they're one of my favorite animals in the entire world. I love, 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 love elephants. They are just beautiful, and they're so unique. They're so different from anything else that we have on this planet right now. Um... They, I mean, they've evolved in, in, in such a unique and special way, and I, I just, I love them because they look so special, but also because they, they are, they're smart, they're intelligent animals. Um, I mean, these are creatures that uh, will, you know, they can tr travel great, great distances and, and use the same trail every single time. Uh, I mean, they have family structures. They remember each other after, like if, if elephants are friends or family members, you can separate them for decades. And then when they see each other, they will literally cry tears and embrace each other and, and be happy and greet each other. and it's amazing they don't forget each other they don't forget um the humans they interact with they don't forget they don't forget anything and they really it, there's this saying and an elephant never forgets and i mean they don't they are incredibly smart incredibly intelligent animals and it just blows my mind i i love them they're so so cool <laughs> um i remember when i was very very young um we went uh, to the zoo with my school and it was some kind of school trip and the only thing I cared about seeing was the elephant. I wanted to see the elephant so bad and it was like an answer to my prayers or something because my class got to sit in this little area, this little picnic table area and they actually brought out an elephant to meet us. 
and it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. This lady was teaching us all about elephants, and she was telling us that this little elephant was very gentle and was very, very, very young. It was very small, and she was friendly, and she liked, you know, to she liked children, and she asked if anyone would like to come up and pet the elephant on his trunk. And I wanted to pet this elephant so bad. I've never wanted anything so bad in my life at that point. <laughs> I had a very, very short life at that point, but still, I was like practically jumping out of my skin trying to raise my hand high enough, um, and I was not called. I did not get to go pet the elephant, and I just thought it, I would thought my heart was going to break. I was so devastated I didn't get to go touch this elephant. Um, <laughs> And um, then the kid, while the kid was petting the elephant, the elephant took a big poop. <laughs> and it was horrible. And the kid um, was like, just looked humiliated. I don't know why this embarrassed the kid, but he was, he was embarrassed that the elephant pooped while he was petting it. So, oh well. <laughs> so that's one story I have about elephants. Um, Another time, I think I went to the circus with my parents and when I was um, about the same age. It was sometime after that, but I was very, still very, very young. And there was an elephant there and you could pay to ride the elephant. And I wanted, again, I wanted to touch the elephant. I loved elephants. And my dad was like, no, no, we're not going to do that. And um, you know, I was a little kid. I was mad. I wanted to ride the elephant. I felt like he was being very, very unfair. And then I found out much later that it was because my father felt it was cruel uh, that he didn't he didn't like that they were you know the way they treated elephants at circuses and we had a conversation about it and he didn't want to support cruelty towards this animal and I think that's pretty awesome. So here is uh, here is the elephant I drew. I hope you like it. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you've ever seen an elephant, tell me about your experience in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.